In this video, um, we're looking at the commands to copy and to move things, so to move files and directories and to copy files and directories. As always, um, if you're copying and you're moving things, you should know where you actually are. So the first command we're going to do is the pwd command, print the working directory I'm in. And it's telling me I'm in scratch user, my username, and then a directory called calculations. Okay, so now I would like to see what's in this directory. And for this, we're going to use the listing command, ls. And that shows me I have three directories in there, calculation1, calculation3, and calculation new. Now, the calculation new name is slightly out of order of how I've named all the other directories, and so I would like to change that. And to do that, I'm going to use the move command, which in principle is basically like a renaming command. So I would like to rename or move the calculation new directory into a calculation two directory. So I'm going to use the move. MV, short for move, and then calculation new, and I would like to move that into calculation 2. So move, whatever the name is now, to whatever the name is going to be. If I press enter, okay, now check what happened. I do another ls command. And now I can see that I now have a calculation 1, a calculation 2, and a calculation 3, which is what I wanted. OK. Now I'm going to change into calculation 2. So we use the change directory, cd command, into calculation 2. And let's see what's in there. OK, so we have a text file in there that is called data.txt. If I now check in how I set up my calculation 1, so I do a listing, and I want to do the listing of calculation 1, so I have to go one up, and then list calculation 1. You find that the input file there is not named data.txt, but input-1. And so I would like to change the name of my data.txt file in the calculation2 directory to input2. OK. OK, so let's do that. So I can use the move command again. So move. And I have data.txt to input dash two, oops, misspelled that, input, dash two. Okay, and now if I do ls, it shows me I've renamed the data.txt file to input two. So that's good. Okay, so one of the things that you might have noticed that the move command um, doesn't actually ask if you really want to replace that or rename that file. Um, so if you wanted to check and actually ask you if you're sure that you want to move the file to something else. So for example, if a file of that name, if when I move data.txt to input2, and if, that file, if I hadn't checked before and that file already existed, it would overwrite it basically. So move does not check to make sure if um, if you want to ask it to check you can add a minus little i flag to your move command and then move will usually ask you would you like to move this file into this one okay now i would like to set up my cake so if we have a look at what's in my calculation directory. I do have a calculation 1, calculation 2 and calculation 3. If I now check what's in calculation 3. Okay. 
it is basically empty at the moment. So I would like to copy the current input 2 file to calculation 3. Okay, and so how do I do that? I use the copy command. And so, so far we've moved and overwritten files or renamed files, but now I want to make a copy. And so I'll use the copy command, which is short CP for copy. Let's do an LS in here first. So I've got my input 2 and I'm going to use the copy command to copy the input 2 file and I would like to copy that as input 3 to calculation 3. So now I have to give the destination of my input 2 file. And so my destination is one directory up and then calculation 3 and then I would like to give that copy a name and so I'm going to name it input 3 okay let's see what happens let's list what's in calculation 3 And there I have an input 3 file. So that's worked really well. OK. Now I would like to set up a new calculation directory. And now I'm going to show you what happens when you try and copy. We just copied a file. And now I'm going to show you the difference when you want to copy a directory. So let's try that. For this I'm going to go one directory up, do an ls, I've got calculation 1, calculation 2, calculation 3 and now I would make, would like to make a calculation 4 and to make it a bit easier for me I want to copy calculation 1 into calculation 3. Okay let's try that, so as we did before with the files we do calculation 1 and copy that calculation 4. Let's see what happens. OK, so now it's actually giving me an error and it's basically telling me that it can't copy because calculation 1 is a directory and the other problem is that calculation 1 is not empty so there's actually files in there and so you have to tell the copy command that it has to copy the directory and the files and possible other directory it contains and so for this you have to give the copy command an extra flag and so for this one we want to copy the directory recursively and so we use the minus little r flag for copying a directory recursively which means it's copying the directory itself plus its contents and that means all files and any subdirectories and then more files that are in there. So if I do calculation 1, 2, calculation 4 and press enter, that now worked and if I do an ls on calculation 4 it's made a direct copy of calculation 1, so there's the input 1 in there, which I then have to rename into, into input 4, for example. Okay, so to recap, um, to copy files and directories, you use the copy command, cp. If you want to copy a whole directory and that is not empty, you have to add the minus little r flag to the copy command to copy the whole directory recursively and all its contents. To move things, use the move command, mv, and you can use that to move files, and you can use that to move whole directories.